Welcome guys, welcome to the channel. I'm back down here at New Pittsburgh Cemetery. It was established in 1833. The day I came, there was a lot of snow on the ground and we missed a lot of the stones because of the snow, but you couldn't see them. So I'm back out here to walk through real quick and just do like a redo of it real quick because I don't feel that I brought all the stones to light that I wanted to bring because of the snow. So we're gonna walk through here real quick and just do a quick redo. I've been down here for just a couple minutes and there was one stone flipped over and I was able to put it back up on my own but it's covered with mud and I don't know if you're gonna be able to see anything on it or not but I was able to stand one back up. It's probably going to flip again eventually, but I haven't at least tried. That's a good looking stone. But it's this one right here with the mud on it. I just got through picking it up. That's why I'm out of breath. But I was able to get it back up. But the ground's frozen to it. And I was trying to pull the rest of it off, but it's frozen. But I just got that one picked back up and put it back up on its base. You ain't gonna be able to read it who it belongs to, but that was a, what I was able to do. But a lot of these you could not see the day I came. So I'm gonna hit on a few more of them. Give me just a minute to get my breath back. Whew. Here's a good looking stone. I ain't gonna spend a lot of time here. I just wanted to show you some of them because they were covered with snow the day I came. And if you watched my videos, I'm sure you've seen it in there. There's a good looking stone. Can't read it, but that's one of the flat ones. They're, they're cool. Here's another one. And another one. And this one has a lamb on it. But they're so hard to read, they're, they're eight away. But I think it's because of the being close to the road. And whether you use that salt, that it just eats them up. Here's one that died in 1837. Very cool. But there was a lot of snow after that came. And you, we missed a lot of it. And I'm gonna walk through it real quick. Just trying to see if there was any more on there. Nope. Like this one right here, we weren't able to get it. And he's a World War II veteran, Robert. Uh, then I was able to do this part of these people's stone, which I think is totally awesome. But I wasn't able to get their names. And they're right here, because these was covered with snow. So we're gonna walk through here and get these. That one's a little harder to see because of the black. But there it is. And a lot of the monuments that's down in the ground I wasn't able to get. So I'm gonna get on a few of these. But they were covered, like here. Uh, we could see this one, but we're still gonna get it again. Some of them I'm just going to hit again as I'm walking through. I think this one broke off since we've been here. Because I don't remember. Not this one, but the one I'll show you in a minute. This one right here. And it broke off right here. I don't think that was there when we was here before. It may have been. I mean, I'm not sure. This is the first one I only I've seen of these that they just had the initials carved. They didn't have the rest of it. Here's a cool looking one. He's a veteran. Civil War. But look at the top of his stone. Ain't that cool? And there's what it says. That's cool. But you didn't get to see all that in the snow that day. Here's another one. Oh man, here's another one that flipped since I've been here. That big one right there. And there's no way I can lift that one. 
The other one I was able to maneuver. I don't think I'm gonna be able to maneuver that one. That's a little too big and too heavy. But one like this, he was Civil War. You couldn't see the top of it because of the snow. Uh, we'll get this one while we're here. And we're just gonna walk through the cemetery in a minute. <clears throat> cool place uh, I have to come over here and play with this just a minute though I always have to play with the water pumps I think they're awesome they have these wells at the cemetery where you just pump the water it's been a long time since I had to pump water I was a kid I don't think this one's working I feel it coming up there it is I was gonna say I felt it coming up it's been a long time And then like this stone, you know, we weren't able to get that one. Uh, none of these flat ones I'm fixing to land on here in a minute. You weren't able to see this one. Wasn't able to see this one. Just some different ones. So I'm just gonna walk through here. Like, like here's another one. Another one of our veterans right here we might as well get this one while we're here he's a veteran it's gonna be Civil War uh, here's one that died in 1852 that's a good-looking stone here's another one that's flipping if a man had two people he could slide it back over on the concrete the rest of the way before it did flip but not by me by myself there's no way Here's one that died in 1858. Uh, here's a real good looking stone. But they missed the tops. I don't know what happens to the tops of them. But that one died in 1850. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Back up. He was born April the 22nd, 1860. But he died July the 17th, 1850. How did he die 10 years later? Than he was born. That's one of the ones that are backwards I was talking about. But anyways, I think he's the only one on there. No, here's another one. Someone died in 1856. It's gonna be I think Mary Elizabeth nice nicely. Very good looking stone. Here's another one I think that's broke off or flipped over since I've been here. Of course I wouldn't be able to tell it was under snow, so it may have been already down. There it is, guys. I'm gonna walk on through real quick. I'm trying to hurry up so I don't take too long. Because I, this is not a video that's... I was just planning to come down and take a few pictures of the ones that I missed on because of the snow. Like these, all these was covered. Anything flatter. Uh, like this one laying right here. I don't know what all this means, but that has a good looking stone. That goes with probably with this one. Very cool. And here's a neat one. I didn't remember seeing that new of a one when I was here. And the one next to it's a veteran, so we'll go ahead and get it. I always like to get the veterans while we're here. It's gonna be Gerald. And then this one, that's a good looking stone. I don't think we've seen much of it when I was here. There's the back side of it. Uh, that's just got initials on them. I don't know what they mean, but we'll go ahead and hit on them. There we go. Then this one over here, He's World War II, right here. Well, let me get above the flag so you can see better. There we go. Then we got another one, a veteran right here. All these was covered. Can you get this one? Then this one here was uh, World War II. He was in the Air Force. 
And then you got the veteran right here. We'll go ahead and hit on this one. And here's a good looking stone. That one's held up really good. And they died in 1839. That is very cool. Really good looking stone. Got a few more to hit on right here. Right here. And that goes with their big stone right here. But here's the other one over here from Margaret. Very cool. And then I had got this one in my last video. But you wasn't able to see who it went with. So we're going to come back and get it. The Firestone one. That is a good looking monument. And that's right here with Howard and Gail and Omar. Very cool. So I wanted to definitely come back and put some uh, names with some of the stones that are done. We're going to walk on through here real quick. See what else we can see real quick before we end it. See how wore these get when they get closer to the road? I don't know if it's the salt or what, but it just heats them up. Like that. I don't know if I got these or not. If I did, forgive me, I'm going to hit them again. But while we're here, we'll go ahead and get them. And there is a newer part to the cemetery on back, back there, but I'm not going to go on it. I don't feel we need to. And I don't want to offend anybody, so we're not going to hit on those. But I will get this down here real quick. It's ain't a bad looking cemetery. I think the neighbor next door must take care of it. Yeah, see how hard these are to read, guys? I mean, I am about 10 inches away from the stone, and you still can't see it. This one you can a little bit. They died in 1865. That's going to be a Nancy. I uh, can't see nothing on this one. Nor on this one. Uh, unless this is on the other side. No, see how slick that one is? It just totally eats them up. Okay, it's right here. I see it right there now. I can't see the name. It's Jane something. But I can't see the lay any other thing else. And this one, it's on this side. And they died in 18, looks like 36. But that's about all you can see on it, guys. Nothing. And when they turn black, it's impossible. But it's on this side, so we're gonna stand this one up. <coughs> there it is, guys. I don't, I can't tell when they died, but there it is. We're going to lean it back, back against the pole where it was at. Very cool. And these right here, I like these because you can see and read them. They're no problem to see. And this is who it is right here. And she died in 1898. And Aaron, he died in 1907. He died at Wooster, Ohio. And... 74 years old she was and he was 86 that's a good looking stone see it right there guys but anyways guys I'm going to end this I just wanted to come back put on a few stones because the ones that was under the snow you know I wouldn't even be able to get those here's this good looking mausoleum again just to show you awesome there's old glory flying in there like she should beautiful and they got like a little rock thing underneath the flagpole. Anyways, guys, I'm going to end this. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing to the channel. If you ain't subscribed, uh, if you could, that would, would be great. But we'd appreciate to have you. And I'm going to get out of here. Peace. I'm out of here.